Hey everyone, I hope everyone's having a great day. We're gonna be checking out a new feature ChatGPT just launched, which allows us to now look at images in the chat. This is gonna be specifically a tutorial when looking at images on the desktop version of ChatGPT. I am aware that ChatGPT now has the ability to do vocal as well, but that's more on the mobile side. But without further ado, let's go to jump in today as, you know, this seems pretty cool. And I did play around with it a little bit and it does seem to work pretty well here. So I got a bunch of images for a bunch of different contexts. So we're gonna get a complete idea of what's capable when it comes to ChatGPT and image. Now, as you'll see, you're going to need a ChatGPT Plus account. Also to the right here, we have this little icon. This is where we're gonna attach our images for the chat and then essentially have ChatGPT, you know, do the analysis. So let's see how good this feature is. In order to attach, you're gonna simply click here. Once you find the underlying image that's on your desktop or local machine, it's gonna go ahead and attach it here. And let's just do something very simple to start off. I'm gonna say, what or where is this place? And spoiler alert, if you don't know this place, this is the Eiffel Tower. So let's see if ChatGPT can see that. Okay, so we pass this test. Let's go ahead and take a little bit further here. I'm curious, um, what is in the bottom left of this image. I'm really gonna push it to the limits. I, or sorry, not bottom left, I should have said bottom right, but it should say grass. Okay, this is cool. Okay, so what is in the bottom right of this image? And it even gave us the space, oh my gosh, okay. Of uh, this image, I'm gonna do a ton of stuff here. I'm gonna do a, an image where we have a bunch of clothes laid out on a bed and I'm gonna see if we can pick from the clothes. But it should say, uh, there's some flowers. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is really cool. All right, this is gonna be a really cool video here, I can already tell. So this is a simple explanation of what it can do here. Let's go ahead and ask another question for a different type of image. So this is pretty blurry here, but I wanted to see if it'll be able to interpret just text on a Word doc. And obviously all it says is this is an essay, this is an essay. I'm curious if it's able to interpret this. This would be really cool here. So slide back over here. We're gonna go ahead and say, what is the name on this Word? document and what is the contents of this word document now the reason i'm testing this is in the context of you're using the mobile app you could take a picture of um you know like some written text on a desktop some written text on an actual like table let's see if it does this okay it does okay bob smith okay so we are getting to the next level here when it comes to ai this is amazing um wow okay this is actually extremely powerful um, the first thing I just thought of right now is, I mean, in the context of school, someone could easily just use this to cheat. If you really think about it, I mean, they could literally just take a picture of their test and then have ChatGPT do all the answers live. That's insane. Um, I don't condone cheating, but just saying, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's try something else here. So it can do that. I'm going to try a different image here and see if it can analyze charts and graphs. All right. So I got a chart for CO2 emissions here. I'm going to say, uh, give me a thesis of what this chart means. And let's see what it comes up with here. As you'll see here, obviously we have a trend upwards. And let's see if it's able to analyze a picture I found off Google on CO2 emissions. Okay, so this can analyze a chart like that. Um, not only that, it's going to the exact, some exact points found within that chart. The year 1751 to 2022. I mean, it knows all the way over here, this is 1751. And this gives me a thesis based off this chart. Okay, so this is really this is really next level stuff here. Let's go ahead and get a very complex image here. I'm gonna provide an image of one I found on Reddit, which is a bunch of clothes laid out and if and see if it can make an outfit out of it. Okay, so you'll see this image when I hit enter here. I'm gonna play around with it. I'm gonna go ahead and say, based on the clothes I have on my bed, which would be best for a walk in the park. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, so you can see that there is limitations to this. this isn't that great? I'm gonna see um, uh, what piece of clothes is on the far right. You know, like a red dress. It looks like. Let's see if we can interpret that. He's able to interpret that to an extent. Okay, from what you can see, what could be an outfit i mean honestly this might be too too messy it is a little messy so maybe if i would just provided like three articles of clothing it could probably give me more context here but let's see whoa this is crazy okay so from what it can deem or what it can see it says the light blue jeans near the center of the bed 
I mean, I see jeans here. Maybe he thinks that's the light blue jeans. I'm not too sure. Honestly, I can barely decipher what's going on. So if they can decipher something, then it's pretty impressive. A solid colored top, like the white one next to the jeans or the gray top below the jeans. A solid white top. A solid colored top like the white one. Maybe it's referring to like this right here or that one right there. And for added warmth or style, you could layer with a gray sweater on the bottom right. Oh, this one right here. I mean, this is this is this is really impressive. Um, let's go and ask another question here. Something more simple, like a, a breed of a dog. So I uploaded a picture I found. We say, what breed of dog is this? And honestly, this should be more on the simple side. It should be able to get this. Okay, so it says it's a Basenji. I probably butchered how you say that. Uh, they are known for their sleek and fine coat, pointed ears, and expressive face. Let's find out. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and Google it. Possibly. I don't, honestly don't know. So maybe it's this breed of dog. We come back over here. It does look like it could be. I'm not too sure. I'm not a dog expert. But let's go ahead and ask one last question here. Um, I'm curious if it's able to interpret a map and more specifically a map of a ski resort called Mammoth found here outside of LA. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that image. And I'm gonna ask the question is, I am a beginner snowboarder. What trails would be best? I have no clue if this is gonna be able to interpret this correctly, but this is the map here. Once it loads, I'll show y'all. We go. This is the different trails. As you may or may not know, green is obviously easy. Uh, black is, you know, more difficult. As you see, extremely difficult, difficult, easiest, uh, slightly more difficult. Uh, let's go ahead and back out here. And it might be able to understand the key here and actually identify specific routes here. Let's find out. For beginner snowboarder, you'd want to stick with labeled easiest schoolyard. This area near the main lodge appears to be designed specifically. Uh, see if we can find it. Schoolyard. There we go. Schoolyard. Okay. It can interpret maps. Um, it can read the key and interpret maps for you. That's really cool. So I think in this video, I showcased a full breadth of what this product can do. And on top of that, what I noticed is a use case that seems to be applied to this context is specifically if you're using mobile, you would maybe you're repairing your car and you want to take a picture of your car and be like, how do I help me on this engine repair? Or like you're repairing your bike, take a picture of your bike, um, stuff like that. And on top of that, it almost seems like this could be used in the context of traveling. So you could take a picture of like maybe a foreign map and have it translate the map for you. like. One of like the ones you see like you know like in the mall when it shows like all the different locations maybe you can't read the language you take a picture of chat gbt and the chat gbt tells you essentially where to go and everything to understand there this is a really powerful tool i feel like it's going to be more in the context of mobile rather than desktop but i wanted to show that for today's video if you like this kind of style video make sure you leave a like it lets me know you like this kind of video plus it's free on top of that i'm gonna leave a playlist at the end here that shows us diving into a lot of plugins found on chat gbt so you can go ahead and pick a video that best deems what you want to know about ChatGPT when it comes to plugins. Without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.